welcome ladies and gentlemen back to trail makers and today we're going to be finding out if the trebuchet really is in fact the superior siege weapon so i'm going to attempt to build something resembling a trebuchet now trail makers has some really particular ways that it distributes weight across creations that might make this not work as intended but either way i'm going to try to build it just to see what happens and i guess since this is going to be a trail makers version of a trebuchet we can call it the trailbuchet and we'll find out if the trail Boucher is in fact the superior siege weapon. So in preparation for this video, I watched a very, very brief introduction on how trebuchets work. And I'm going to be building this thing pretty much entirely based off of that. So uh, wish me luck because uh, I have no idea how this is going to go. There goes nothing. Okay, so I think I'm starting to run into the issue that I talked about with the weight distribution. So you can see that clearly there is a lot of weight on the right side of this compared to the left side of this. But the problem is that all of these individual pieces that I've added to this side, I think that it's trying to distribute the weight between each section kind of evenly. So that's why when I spawn it in here, you can see that it really doesn't fling it up quite as strong as it should. So it the trail boucher might be a very inferior siege weapon, but I'm going to finish building this thing. I want to create a mechanism that I can pull it back and then release it as well and see if, see what will actually happen. All right, guys, I've got a prototype here. I really don't know what to expect with this. So here's the idea. So I should be able to contract and pull back. Yes, this is actually working pretty well. So this is how we pull back the trebuchet and get it ready for launch. And then when I press space, we should be able to release the trebuchet. Okay, I released. Uh, it's no longer attached. You can you can clearly see that this is uh, this is no longer attached, and the weight appears to have no impact whatsoever on it. Oh, whoa, whoa! Wait, what? I think I found out why. Even though that's been detached, it is still attached? That's not how that's supposed to work at all. Okay, um... What if I do it from here? Okay, the detachable blocks apparently just... They don't work right now. Alright, so clearly there is some kind of issue with the detachable blocks detaching from the pistons. I'm wondering if I put a buffer here, is that going to solve our issue? All right, and detach. Okay, uh, maybe it's the fact that I used a seat. 
Maybe, maybe the seat is the issue. I used to see because I had a plan of getting in it and being the launched object itself, but maybe that's not the best thing. So I'm just gonna put like a placeholder bunch of square blocks like this for now. And let's see if this changes it. All right, and detach. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hold on a second here. Detach. I am very confused. Is it because of the other detachable blocks then? Okay, if I don't have these detachable blocks, let's just say I have it directly detached. So there's only one set. That's not how it's supposed to work. Here we go. All right, so now detach. I have no idea what is going on right now. You know what? I think I got an idea. I'm gonna do a little hack here. We're not gonna use detachable blocks to detach from the pistons here. Instead, I'm actually going to use a small cannon. So if I attach with a single tiny block right here, and then I aim a small cannon right at this block, is that gonna hit? But anyway, I think you see what I'm getting at here. So hopefully when I press space, it'll shoot this block, detaching it as if it was destroyed rather than using the detachable block function. Because, see, when things get destroyed, that happens and it seems to work. So, let's see if we can do it by destroying it on our own free will. So, we go ahead and contract this. And then, space. What? Did you just see what happened? The trebuchet may be the superior siege weapon, but the trailbuchet is the superior glitch weapon. It could just be because it was too close. Let's give it some distance. Oh, there we go, and it made no difference. Okay, yeah, I've done things. I have done things. Now, I'm not sure if I should be proud of what I've done here, but I feel some sense of accomplishment. I've created magic. See, I'm going with the confusion tactic. I'm going to have the enemies uh, become very confused and disoriented and uh, be distracted from battle. That is what the siege weapon is all about. <laughs> Okay, I have another idea. I'm gonna try to use electromagnets instead of detachable blocks to make this thing work. All right, um... <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't think magnets can actually attach to their own creation. So that's another failed idea. To be honest, I didn't think this idea was gonna run into this many issues. I got another idea another solution to our problems. I'm just full of solutions today. I mean, none of my solutions actually solved anything so far, but it doesn't mean I didn't come up with them. See, the problem that we're having is our detachable blocks can't actually be attached to the thing we're trying to release itself. So instead, I'm gonna move all of these pistons off to the side and we're going to still pull this thing, but we're not gonna be directly attached to it. All right, here it is. Here is the new solution. Do you guys get what's going on so far? Let's see if this actually works. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. It hasn't broken this time. Yes, this is all working so far. Will the release actually work though? All right, and release. <gasps> it's so weak. It is so weak, but, but, we got the release to work. All right, so we have progress. I painted everything up so that the stone looks stony. But now we have the issue of weight. The weight is clearly inferior. Like, it <laughs> it does not swing the way it is supposed to swing. So to test out this issue, I'm going to add a whole bunch more weight over there. And I'm expecting that we're not going to have any different results because that weight is going to get distributed across the entire creation rather than being focused on that one point. So we just increased a lot of weight over here. So let's see if we have any success. Looks like we can still pull it back effectively. Okay, and release. Actually... That was slightly, slightly better, wasn't it? But it is still nowhere near good enough. I'm, I'm gonna do something that might be a little bit reckless here. I was trying to save on complexity and potential lag by uh, dividing this rope into a combination of solid joints and then trailer joints to add the bendy aspect to it, but I'm gonna go for completely trailer joints. Oh wait, do you see what's happening? The trailer hinge section is now heavier than the other side. 
Right here. I'm just, I'm pulling this back for no apparent reason. And then I detach. And look at that. So this actually kind of makes sense because I think for each trailer hinge, that is an actual extra division of weight getting added to that side. I think we can't rely on weight for this trail bouchet. So instead of using weight as our primary force to get this thing to rotate, uh, I think we're going to use thrust. So when I press space, it'll not only release the stone, but it'll also activate all of these raw jet engines, hopefully to create a lot more force than we've had so far. Here we go. Three, two, one, activate. We may have just saved this creation. We may have just saved this entire video. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy now. Okay, I thought this was going to be an absolute failure, but that, that was a moderate success. Okay, so now what we have to do is designate a release point. All right, so now when this sensor detects the arm of the trebuchet getting up to the top, it should release the stone. All right, so here's a moment of truth. Let's see if it'll actually release at a decent trajectory. Where did it go? Oh my goodness, look at that. It didn't go very far because I think we released too early, but I think that's an easy fix. If I just move this over by one, it's going to rotate just a little bit more. All right. I need to go into uh, free cam for this. By the way, F5 is free cam. I see some people asking that in the comments sometimes. All right. We're going to pull it back. There we go. And release. Oh. It's actually kind of awesome. This went from fail to success really quick. Ooh. <laughs> Does it count if your entire trebuchet gets destroyed after you've launched? Okay, so now comes the fun part. Uh, I want to put my seat in here because I want to get launched. I think I'm in the right seat and I should get launched with it. Let's see what happens. Oh no. I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, try this again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty cool. All right, well, adding this seat to this thing, I don't think made it that much better. So I'm going to go ahead and forego the seat. I'm going to make this thing look a little bit more like a boulder. And then we're going to see if we can actually hit something with it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Is that great or what? The new textures just make this thing look awesome. All right, I'm loving how this thing turned out so far. All right, let's see if this thing actually launches well. Not bad. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to do some range finding, and then I'm going to put a field of busters, and we're going to see if we can hit any busters with a trebuchet. Okay, I have a general idea of where it might land. So let's go ahead and respawn this back in. And we're going to go over and place some busters down. Okay, here we are. Do you think any of these busters are prone to getting hit? Oh, I can feel the game already not liking how many creations I have in here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so what I think the best thing to do is I'm going to get in here. I'm going to free cam over to the busters. And we're going to look at it from this perspective over here. Release. Oh, that was so close. It's right in their general location. That looked that looked scary too. If I was in the buster's position, I would be terrified seeing that thing flying at me. All right, and release. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that was absolutely terrible. Too bad the shrapnel doesn't actually do anything. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. And ah, oh, it's going right in between them all. One of these has to be a success. Oh, there we go. We got some contact. We got a piece bounce up into them. Ooh, ooh, what? Yes! <laughs> we finally destroyed a buster. It wasn't the one I was aiming for or hoping for, but we got one. And we got it on the bounce, too. I was hoping for a direct hit. All right, I'm starting to feel good. I've readjusted my aim. I think my aim is spot on. It's all about the distance now. Yes! <laughs> what? One of them lost an arm, and that is the only damage that was really done. I cannot believe that. That was a direct hit, too.
Alright, well, I gotta say, even though we ended up with a successful trailbuchet, if you want to call it that, uh, the process was perhaps one of the most bitchiest, unexpected results I've ever seen. <laughs> but I'm pretty proud of what I come up with here. The method to retract, the functionality of it, and even the... the method of launching i guess is pretty fun so let me know what you guys thought of the trebuchet and uh, if you have any other crazy ideas you'd like to see me do in trail makers let me know down in the comments below if you want to see other awesome trail makers experiments then go ahead and check out this playlist right here hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrapman and i'll see you next time bye